Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of my video blog. Today we're going to be talking about how to sound design a fight scene, um, which I think I'm wearing an appropriate shirt for. I got the DBZ thing, which I, I feel a little embarrassed wearing it, but you know, I, I work Funimation, it's free, which you know, it's kind of a problem. I, you know, I'm wearing a free shirt. I don't know if you see my pants, but check these out. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that THS soccer. Yeah. That means these pants were from high school. But, you know, it's alright. It's not like I have the whole outfit still or anything. Anyone want to play soccer? Soccer? You know, we used to have it easy. At least, you know, once a year we would have an excuse to buy clothes for the school year. You know, first day of school you wanted to look good. Um, speaking of school, am I the only one that loves the smell of children's backpacks? It's not actually a kid's backpack. If I had a real kid's backpack, that would be really creepy. Um, but, yeah. But I don't know, it's the smell of the, uh, those vinyl, you know, like the, the Door of the Explorer or, you know, Spongebob backpacks. They're just awesome. I love the smell of those. I'm, I'm have a kid on the way, uh, next month, really, actually, which is kind of nuts. Um, I'm going to buy him, like, seven backpacks every year. He, he won't know why, but I'll just, like, keep them in a pile for me and just do that. That's weird. I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe I'll keep, like, one aside and just... In the morning, like, to get me out of bed, I'll just sniff the backpack. I'm not going to do that. That's weird. So I want to make one more quick aside before we get started. I don't know if you had purple grapes with jello powder on it. It's amazing. But let me show you, because I got some, you know, because I'm prepared. This is a professional endeavor here. These things are amazing. Let me show you. You see the awesomeness? Check that out. It's kind of the best thing ever. Uh, Adrian showed these to me. I hated purple grapes before, or red grapes. I don't know what the hell you call these. I, I eat green grapes. That's all. I was a green grape man. And then I tried these, and it's amazing. I eat like 30 grapes, and then I feel sick in my stomach because they're covered in jello. But it's really good, and you should do it. You just get, you know, the grapes, and then you, you know, rinse them, and then you put the powder on them and mix it around, and you're done. It's awesome. That's my tip of the day. Kool-Aid thumb. Jello thumb. So good. Anyway. Alright, so let me show you how to sound design a fight scene. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this video here. Got the dude getting kicked. Punch, punch. Swipe, swipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And super fly kick thing. So that's pretty standard for what I get. I generally don't get any sound effects in a video when I get it, and there's no music. So this is basically what I would see if I were to be getting uh, a piece to work with. So we're going to just kind of do it quick and dirty. I'm not going to actually sound design this to the level that I would if it was a finished product, because that would take longer than a couple minutes, which is all I want to spend here with you. Uh, I'm just showing you the basic tools, so that way you can take these ideas and go from there and expand on them. So those are big and, big and over the top, which is probably good for a scene like this, because it's a pretty over the top fight scene. So let's drop one of those guys in. Alright, so this dude get, gets kicked right there. I know I pulled in a punch, and I'm about to drop it in for a kick, but they're kind of interchangeable. They have, when you look up kick and punch sounds, they're pretty interchangeable. Uh, so now let's go ahead and pull in some cloth noises. Here's what it sounds like with just the punches. Alright, it's a little cheesy. We wouldn't like that, but we're going to keep that for the moment. Alright, so there's some good clothy noises. And so what I'm doing now is just sound designing the cloth that they're wearing. Alright, so we're getting close now. It still sounds a little fake. Now what would really um, make this kind of get more realistic would be the addition of... Not that. 
the addition of uh, footsteps. Just for the sake of uh, showing what it can do, I bet even if I don't modify this at all to fit the picture, it's probably going to add a lot. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's just screw it. Let's leave it as it is. Uh, if I was taking the time, I would, you know, slide these around and say, okay, he lands right there. There should be a foot on dirt noise, um, or foot on the ground noise, uh, dirt in this case. And I would do that for every single little movement. Oh, he twists his hips there. He probably slides his foot a little bit, and, and that would really take it up a level. But just for the, the sake of getting the idea, we'll do that. And the last thing we want to add is maybe some, we'll add some, like, subtle wind. All right, it's a little loud, but if I turn it down in the mix, it might do the trick. I don't really want a windstorm in here, but let's just put it there low, real low. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to add. We added all the punches and kicks and swings, and uh, but I didn't add any uh, swishes, which are important. Let's see, let's go ahead and add one final thing and we'll call this guy good. Uh, that guy's swinging his sword, so... I want to call out the danger of that. Yeah, let's call this good. So let me let's go and play back one more time. You get an idea. Like I said, this is only supposed to be rough, so this wouldn't be a finished product you would turn in, you know, for the film. Um, let's watch. I'll see you guys next week and uh, sound design some fight stuff. And um, if you have any requests for for specific sounds you want me to show you how to create or music stuff you want me to show you how to do or anything else, you know, I, I kind of plan these out on a week to week basis. So I'm open for suggestions. And if you're enjoying it, uh, these these video blogs, go ahead and tell your friends and other people so I can start getting dim views. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.